continue the journey of the Denise in search of acceleration. There are few options out there for accelerating a 64 pin dip socketed 68,000 based machine, but I've chosen to go with the Terrible Fire 536. So still trying to keep this build as close to original hardware, with the exception of the Terrible Fire. The Terrible Fire is a sympathetic original hardware accelerator. It uses a CPLD and modern static RAM. But outside of that, it's a straight original 68030 CPU running at 50 MHz. The IDE interface is implemented by emulating Gale from the Amiga 1200 and 600 machines, which means it's fully compatible with the existing SCSI device, meaning this is a highly compatible solution. So now we have to tear down the Denise in order to add the terrible fire and a hard drive. Unfortunately, me installing the terrible fire in the first place wasn't captured on camera, but we can uninstall the terrible fire and I can show you exactly how it's done. This also gives me an opportunity to show you a little tip for removing terrible fires from sockets. Don't wiggle them, don't pull them, don't pry them. Just use a simple Velcro strap and pull it out evenly in one tug. All I've done to raise up the accelerator is install two rows of gold plated turn pin headers. And that gives me enough height to clear the Zorro slot and the capacitors that would normally be in the way if this was going directly into the CPU socket. Though for this iteration of the Denise this fits perfectly, if I wanted to fit the external floppy connector, which was my plan, I need to relocate the terrible fire across a little and a little further to the front. What I also didn't realise is that to get the network card installed, that takes up the same space as the floppy connector. The second issue with the network card is it's too tall to fit in this case, so my plan is to use my sponsor, PCBWay, who can provide PCB prototyping for as little as $5. And I'll be using them in this case to create a custom riser. Once these have arrived, been tested, I will make them available on PCBWay's shared projects, which is a fantastic way to support creators, as a small percentage of the purchase of that creator's project will go back to them as a commission. And this helps support the creator community. All this is available at PCBWay.com. So thanks PCBWay for sponsoring this video. The hard drive I'll be installing will be a genuine spinning rust. A 44 pin mechanical hard drive, which is new old stock. With the Denise loosely together, because I'm not putting any more screws in until I make sure that this hard drive is at least working,
This will be the first time I run sysinfo on the Denise once I've installed the 68030. And that revealed an interesting surprise that I wasn't expecting. This in theory should be absolutely identical and parity to the original 500 plus hardware that it's based on. Before we get to that, let's install Amiga OS on this fresh hard disk. Switching it on and installing Amiga OS 3.2, the hard drive works perfectly. While trying to do a test fit, the rotary encoder appears to have waggled one of its wires off, so I'll need to solder that back on before we can get it all assembled properly. With that back on, we can put the Denise back in its case and give it a final test and install some games. As part of the build, I'm going to be using my trusty Zip100 drive over the parallel interface, which is from one of my earlier videos. And that's so I can copy on some WHD load games. Everything I'm going to install on the Denise, I'm going to do on the actual hardware onto a hard drive as I would have done it back in the 90s. To my surprise, the chip RAM speed is three times that of an Amiga 600, which is quite some considerable speed increase. That in combination with the fast RAM on the terrible fire, it's potentially a more performant machine than my Amiga 2000. If you found any part of this useful, interesting or entertaining then please click like. And if you want to see more videos like this why not subscribe to the channel. In the meantime why don't you check this out next.